pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Hot Wheels Hilarity. Once again, this has been quite a while since the last time I ever did an episode of any sorts. Well, I can tell you this right now, that more episodes will be on the way soon, but I'd just like to get this one out of the way first, because this, after all, does follow a recent Hot Wheels Hilarity special delivery episode that I uploaded to my channel. You can see here that this one does have itself plenty of newer and older stun kits that I've gotten over the past year or so, including the clamp right there, a regular loop, this right here, which is actuated by a handle on the side. I kind of forgot what the name of it is in general. You can see here's the switch it, which works like that. You pull that up and then you switch to see which lanes you want to use. There's also kicker loops, which are activated by this and then I can just reset it by hand plus there's also curves right here and you can also see right here this right here is one of the blue boosters which are top side boosters and they do connect to this box right here with this black cable but of course not all cars tend to do well in either this type of booster or in a regular booster that just propels them from the sides but as you can see here, these are all the cars that I've managed to unbox from that special delivery episode. We've got plenty here that I've been looking forward to getting. And you can see here that Dirty Outlaw does not have its blue piece on the top. That's simply because of how I did not want it to get ruined by going through the top booster or something like that. So I ended up taking it off. And I actually did test it out pretty well. But I want to see how well the Bugatti Veyron can do just to make sure it was worth all the money I paid for. But, other than all of this, I feel like that any of the other cars right here, they could do well, but most of which might not do so well in any of the loops, or even the curves, depending on their body design and shape. This grabber over here I'm going to use to retrieve any cars that end up getting lost from far away. So let's get going. First up is Hot Tub. Custom 64 Ford Galaxy. Cabin Fever. Nineteen eighty four Pontiac Grand Prix Hyper Truck Robo Race Robo Car. Nineteen eighty four Oldsmobile Hearst Tesla Roadster Fifty eight Edsel Tesla 
Bugatti Veyron. A crate. And last but not least, we have Dirty Outlaw. And so, out of all of them, Hypertruck happened to be the one that makes it. Out of all of them. When I figured at least one other, like Dirty Outlaw, probably could have made it, but I can tell you right now, Hypertruck seems to be the best out of all of them. Its body design was well, and many of the others that you can see right here, they're just not at all made for every single stunt piece or kit that I own. Especially when it comes to the use of boosters. But loops also seem to play a role into it all. And it's simply because of how some cars just have its, themselves a low front splitter. I mean, race grooves seem to go more detail on it than I ever could. So, of course, just take some more of the research from race grooves that I would do with my own. Because, simply put, race grooves was the big inspiration towards this series. But... I actually do feel hybrid truck could do very well in other layouts and maybe other models from this episode could do well as well. But until then, you could stick around and watch out for more.